guys what's going on it's Ben here from the Blinks team so in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to make a combination lock if you are new to redstone and haven't watched my previous two videos uh, you're probably gonna need to watch you're probably gonna wanna watch those but if you're advanced at redstone then this will just be a cinch for you so basically how it works is you enter in the combination and you hit confirm and the door opens can go in, click this button to shut the door, and you can get your treasure, or this could be your house, say, whatever. And then you walk out, and it's all, and you can just reset these so people don't know what the combo is, and you're good. Now, you could actually make this with tons of more levers, but I'm just going to do it with three. So, you're basically going to want a, oh my goodness, it's getting dark. I'm just going to have a lie down. But you're going to want a wall and an iron door. So that's pretty easy stuff to get. And you're going to need a whole load of redstone. So basically just place down your three levers and your button. And right behind them on the wall next to the door. Right behind the three levers you want to have three by three square that's like expanded up off the behind the levers oops now you want to just put repeaters here so the wet redstone wiring doesn't interfere with the other lines and then on the last thing you gotta you gotta put three redstone just like that and place a torch in the middle okay so this is a basic or gate no is it or gate I don't know one of those gates I should probably know, but um, it's a basic one that basically, if one of these is triggered, then this turns off. So if one of these is on, then you see that torch is off. So you want this to be on. So right now the combination is all up. So that is the final combination. Now to change the combination though, which you probably are most going to want to do, is you replace these repeaters with a redstone torch so it reverses the current. So now this would be the combination, the middle one down, um, because the torch is right there. So we'll just make this the combo for now, the same as the other one, which is these two down, that one up, and as you can see this is now on so now you can confine this into a much smaller space if you want so like you could make it all underground or wherever you want but yeah I'm just doing this for sake of demonstration so once you're done that basic not basic that uh switches and you've set your combo you're gonna wanna create an AND gate which is torch there torch there redstone in the middle and then a torch there. This is your output right here and these are your two inputs so when this is on this is off and now you want this to also be off in order for that to go on so in order to do that you just create a button here or you connect your button up which should be right there and as you if you can see those torches in the background it switches that one off for one second so I just set this up to the button if you didn't quite catch that and then I made sure that it went around the outside so it didn't didn't interfere with those other wirings so it will now have a burst of current that sort of yeah goes out of it and then next on your steps you want to create an RS nor latch now this is the last step and so you just connect this and connect that and you want to make sure that when your AND gate the output goes right into the RS nor latch now one end of the RS nor latch goes to your door and the other end goes to the button on the inside so we'll just stick the button there for um, easy um, purposes so just hook up the button here to one of these outputs 
and we hook the door up. Now this might be a bit of a tunneling process, but we hook the door up to, we hook this up to the door, so all the way over to there. Okay, so once you've tunneled all the way to the door, I just made a quick tunnel. I'll obviously cover that back up later. Um, you are going to need to create an inverter here at the end with a block there and a torch underneath the door. When the torch is underneath the door, the door will open and close with the torch. But if it's just plain redstone underneath the door, it doesn't, um, like, I don't know, trigger the door the plain redstone. So make sure you put a little inverter there and then you just hook this all back up with wiring. And redstone only travels 15 blocks so just somewhere sort of in the middle here you can just stick in a repeater which just basically boosts back up the current and then you can just cover back up your little trench. Okay, so now that it's all set up, uh, you can just stick a stone pressure plate here for when you want to leave. Um, and you are basically finished. Let's see what I did. Okay, so make sure when you're connecting up your button, you do not want it to be an output. You want it to go in an input side. Now that might be a bit long for the redstone to travel. Okay, so there. There we go. So if you didn't catch that, this button needs to go to the other input here. Okay? So once you've done that, you can set your treasure up. You can do whatever you want. And it's all running and up and working. And so, I uh, hope you followed that tutorial. If I was going too fast, there's replay, pause, and everything like that. Also, um, I'm open to suggestions for any videos, tutorials, or anything you want me to make. So, if you want to see a tutorial set on this, hidden doorway, or, yeah, I don't know, I'm open to any requests for tutorials. Oh, or this one's pretty cool too. Free cake. And you fall down there with my poor old chicken who fell down. Okay, so thanks for watching and remember to hit the subscribe if you want to see more tutorials on some of these inventions. And um, we'll see you next time.